Hello dudes, welcome to Tector.com. So, in this lecture we will understand the data independence. Okay, so consider a situation where you have some necessary changes in your database. Okay, you have defined your database, you created tables, you created relationship. Okay, now you want to change those relationships. Okay, you have a change in your schema. Okay, then in that case, there is a problem like schema is not supposed to change uh, frequently but yes you may have situation where you have to change you have uh, change in your business logic just uh, imagine then in that case you may have change in your database well so if you have a change in your uh, schema level in your I mean in your schema then there should be some way to change your schema without affecting the entire schema like you need not to uh, delete entire database create new schema at all levels and everything okay so schema has three levels basically let's see. well so first we will understand the schema levels okay we have three levels of schema the first one is this is application Then the second one is your logical schema. Schema. And the third one is then your physical schema. Physical schema. Okay. So you have three levels of schema. Now at first level, your application program runs. Second one is your relationship. Third one is your storage, kind of storage data structure and everything. Okay. So you want to change this you want to have a change in this relational schema okay you have two table tables okay and a relationship among this now this table needs to divide in two tables okay two new tables and this relation should be only with this table okay so in this relational schema change okay you have to have a data independence where if you are making change on this level okay this level other levels should not be get should not be affected okay so similarly why we had uh, different different layers in your in our OSI or uh, TCP IP model in our uh, computer networks because the main main purpose is to have modularity we have change in one level which will not be affected to other levels okay so we same kind of data independence is provided in our database system where we have two kind of data independence the first one is logical data independence logical data independence and the another one is physical data independence physical data independence okay so two kind of data independence logical and physical so data independence let's understand data independence define it actually so definition will be the capacity of changing the schema at one level without affecting the other level as we discussed if we want to change logical schema we need not to affect application or the physical schema right physical how the data has been stored okay so we have two kind of storage logical data independence I mean we have two kind of independence logical and physical logical data independence works here if we have to change the logical uh, schema we need not to affect the higher sch higher schema level like application level so capacity to change conceptual schema without having effect on application program is logical logical data independence I'll repeat the capacity to change the logical schema without affecting the application program without capacity to change this schema without affecting the application program is known as logical data independence okay then we have physical data independence physical data independence is this one capacity to change physical schema without affecting the logical schema okay we are making a change here without affecting this one 
okay so this is called this is called physical data independence okay we are making a change on physical schema but relational schema and everything are same logical schema is same well so this is all about data independence we studied two kind of data independence in our database system first one was logical data independence and another one is physical data independence in logical data independence we are changing logical schema without affecting application program whereas in physical data independence we are changing physical schema without affecting this logical schema so in both the data independence the higher level of schema will be unaffected okay so i hope this is clear see you in the next lecture thank you